it's Gail with Traders Help Desk, and this is a trade I wanted to show because I was actually long the NASDAQ. And you can see that it had support here, came back to test it, and I had went out to, I believe it was 5901. Here's the problem, and this is a common mistake that all traders are prone to when the futures roll. You don't have that problem on the Forex side, you do on the futures side. The NASDAQ rolled yesterday afternoon and what happened was the futures is trading the September contract but Nadex does not roll until Monday. So there's about a 10 point difference in price between the NASDAQ on Nadex and the NASDAQ future. So in this case, you know, if I had been on the right contract or if I had even looked at the prices, then I would have seen, hey, these are not aligned right. And it would have reminded me of the rollover. Unfortunately, I didn't remember. And I was trading to the long side and I ended up losing. Thankfully, I was only risking about $20 per contract. So, you know, I lost $20, not Nadex's fault, not the future's fault, not the indicator's fault, but my fault because even though I warned clients to watch out for this, I forgot it myself. So this is a common mistake that traders will make when they're trading the binary options. And it also highlights why you should be looking at the indicative price index because if I had looked at it I would have seen that the prices were different and that would have triggered oh yeah today prices rolled over on the futures but Nadex does not roll until next week again it's just keeping up with what is going on in the markets and rollover only happens about every three months on the futures as far as the NASDAQ, the Dow, and the ES. Of course, gold and crude will roll over more often than the futures. So you really need to make sure, especially towards rollover time, or if you're not sure when rollover is, just check the indicative value on the index with the future price to make sure that you're on the right contract.